All right, welcome back to my backyard. I have here the LumoPal Loom Solar 60. This is a nice little 60 watt folding solar panel. Uh, I met LumoPal at uh, CES. They were kind enough to send me a uh, pre-production version of this panel. Uh, you may have seen it in one of the previous videos. Um, it's still factory sealed. I have not opened this up. Let's see what we get here. Uh, so they sent me a pre-production version of this, or a, a first production version, and um, they were interested in feedback and wanted to send me the final version also. Uh, this thing, I should have brought it out here. This is about the size of a ream of paper. Um, nice little compact, very nice uh, material. It's got a good pocket there, some clips on the side. Let's see what we have in the pocket. We have a DC cable. We have a type C cable. We have several adapters, uh, instruction book with the panel ratings printed on there. And a, a uh, output block. We have uh, two uh, type A USB connectors. One is labeled USB, the other is labeled QC 3.0. We have a type C and then we have a DC output. Um, supposedly this thing will put out the 60 watts on the type C. Uh, we'll check that. Let's unfold it and see what it looks like. Wow, that is nice. It is, uh, <laughs> it gets quite big. It does not have any sort of kickstand on it. Um, so I'm not really going to be able to prop it up here. Um, I'll have to go look for something for that. So what we're going to test it with is uh, my Blue Eddy AC2A. This will take up to 200 watts of solar, so it should, uh, should run that guy just fine. Um, it has its own MPPT controller, so I'll hook that up to the DC on here. And then I have an Anchor, um, Anchor 548 little uh, lithium phosphate power bank. This thing is great. It's my uh, cell phone charger. But it only charges off of Type-C, and it will take up to 60 watt on the Type-C. So I completely brain farted there. Uh, the Anchor has a XT60 on it, and will take 60 watts on either it or the Type-C input. All right. Back to our regular programming. So we'll, uh, I'll go cobble something together to hang this up, uh, angle it toward the sun, suns that way, and uh, we'll connect to these two things and see, uh, see what we can get out of it. Okay, and we're back. I, I got a uh, 2x12, put a screw up in the top. Um, I may have to angle it a little bit more. The sun is probably, yeah out there and they show uh, they show this panel uh, on their on their website like uh, you can hang it off of your backpack uh, hiking that sort of thing um, yeah it's sort of inconvenient and then it doesn't have any sort of kickstand but uh, that'll work nicely let's connect the DC cord And I will have to get an adapter. The um, AC2A has a um, XT60. Brain fart again. Different plug. I'll be right back. Okay, I brain farted on the name. The AC2A has a MC60 uh, connector. And uh, so I've got an MC60 to DC7909. Uh, in the uh, cable adapter pack here, they have a 7909. So that'll go in there. And then their plug goes in there. And then unfortunately, hanging this way, it hides the output panel. So I will connect that into there. And we should be live. I just heard the AC2A make a noise. It is currently at 61 percent. 
30 watts, 35 watts, 39 watts. Let me shade it so I can see it here. 44, 45. Let me get a little more angle here. Forty seven, forty nine, fifty two watts, fifty two watts out of a sixty watt rated panel. That that's that's pretty good. My uh, permanent solar or semi permanent solar up there is uh, 1600 watts and today it's making about 1500 so this is I think right in line uh, I dropped a little now 48 watts 49 47 there are some scattered high clouds here so we, we may have some variability let me um, let's uh, let's unplug the AC2A and see what the anchor does running off of the uh, USB. Um, I have my own 60 uh, watt USB cord here. So I will unplug their DC connector, plug in the anchor, I'm sorry, plug in the type C and plug that into the anchors type C input. Now this might be really difficult to see in sun. This display is not so bright. 45 watts, 47 watts. Yeah, that's a very handy little panel. Folds up so small. This is, uh, let me just unpack it again, or unhook it again, so we can look a little closer. So it folds out pretty big. There were uh, some... Um, Velcro, Velcro strapping in the box. It's got um, nice riveted grommets at both ends. Uh, several, several nice solid uh, tie hooks, hook loops along it. Let me see if I remember how this folded up. There we go. Now these straps are they go around a little bit weirdly, but when all hooked together, that is nice. It is uh, uh, nine inches by eleven inches by you know three inches thick. It is it is pretty much exactly the size of a ream of paper. Um, I think six pounds or so, um, very, very nice little panel and you can, you know, carry it. Oh, let me zip up the thing. The Loom Pal, uh, 60 watt. I like it. This would definitely be handy to take around, um, charge your phone directly off of it. Again, it has, uh, uh, regular USB, has quick charge 3.0 has the type C so you could easily quick charge your Apple phone or your Samsung phone or whatever off that off the type C. Um, you saw it put out 60 watts here or on the 60 watt input made uh, 48, 49 watts. I saw 52 watts I think or 51 on the AC2A. So it's a nice little panel. It says uh, max voltage, max power voltage is 18 volt, max power current is uh, three and a half amps for 60 watts total. Lumopal, 60 watt, very nice. I approve.